Hello students, so let's try to solve this problem and this problem is very interesting one and this is coming, this problem has came in your last examination of CSIR net examination that was held on uh, July 25 and you know that the exam was a little bit uh, delayed, okay. So this is one of the best question of the examination and very conceptual in nature actually. What is this? This is, there is given the three pendulums are given and they are attached to the spring. So all this pendulum as you can see in the figure, they are attached to spring. And the normal frequency is also given. So this is very interesting. And first time they have asked about the normal modes. So we have to calculate the normal modes. So when we are calculating the normal modes, we have to be very much careful. Suppose you attempt this question into examination with the scratch, then it will take lot of time, lot of time. Why? First you have to write the Lagrangian of a system. That means you have to write the kinetic energy and potential energy. And once you will write the kinetic energy, potential energy, then you can go for the matrix of writing the matrix of kinetic energy and potential energy for the small oscillation. That means you have to just uh, do the Taylor expansion of cos theta and sin theta also. That will also come into picture. And then you can find the normal mode. So it will take a lot of time. But look at this question. This is a lot of, this is a tricky one. Why? Because normal frequency is given. And if normal frequency is given, and we all know this is just a triatomic molecule. So normal mode will be exactly become the same. That will be the triatomic molecule. That is linear triatomic molecule. So to getting the normal mode, what we will get, I will just, Ignore the G by L part. Why G by L part is coming due to the pendulum, coming due to gravity. And this will just change only the normal frequency. And if you remember, in your class theory, we have solved all the, this particular normal mode and the normal frequency of triatomic molecule. So how we will approach this one into the examination? I will solve this problem completely in the different video. But today I am just talking about how you will approach this problem into the examination in a very efficient time uh, in a very efficient time. So let's try to solve it. So what I am going to do, I will just, uh, so what I have to do, I have to just go for, this is very interesting. So what will happen if I will ignore this pendulum part and I will just go for the ideal triatomic molecule then the ideal triatomic molecule will something like this. And you know what will be the normal frequency for this triatomic molecule. This is a part of theory I can say and we have done all this derivation and all these things. So normal frequency for this one is equal to omega is equal to 0 and omega is equal to root under k by m and omega is equal to root under 3k by m. M. Now you can see it very nicely. If G by L is 0, then this will be 0. If G by L is, that is K by M and then you have 3K upon M. So you can just see that analysis is exactly correct. What will be the normal frequency for omega is equal to 0? This is just a translation motion. So all the molecule will move exactly with the same magnitude and the same direction. So what will be the normal mode? that will be 1, 1, 1. If you want, you can normalize it, but it is unnormalized, it is given. So that will be 1, 1, 1. Both are moving in this. And for the omega is equal to root under k upon m, the, the a basic independent motion is the center mass will be remain rest and 2 will be move in opposite direction with the equal magnitude. So what is going to happen? You will go 1, 0 and minus 1. You can write minus 1, 0, 1. That will be the same story. And for the omega is equal to root under 3 upon k, what will happen? The second mass will move with the twice of first one, but these two will move in a same direction. The, the end mass will move in a same direction, but second will move in a opposite direction. So you can just go for, you can go for 1, 2 and minus 1, or you can go for 1 minus 2, 1. That is also same thing. So what will be your answer? If you are going for this, I can write this one as a matrix form, 1 minus 2, 1. That will tell you the exactly same mode. It will depend what is your x-axis and what is your y, what is your negative axis. So if you will just going to match the answer, then obviously 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, minus 1. So this is there, this is there, and this is 1 minus 2, 1. So this will be there. 
so students this question is very tricky why because if you are going to solve this question into examination it will take lot of time but if you will apply the concept of normal mode because it is just telling you all about the direction so if it is telling you all about the direction if you are solving it completely only what is going to change from this ideal system to this system is normal frequency but normal mode will be exactly of this particular ideal system and we can have all these answer so this is a one of the very good question and you have answer number 3 is the correct answer and this is question id 705049 thank you